guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, where all geek culture collides. Today, we're taking a look at Ghostbusters 101, issue number 6, which goes on sale today. As most of you know, I pre-order my issues, so I received my copy the day before they're released on newsstands. This is the final issue in the Ghostbusters 101 miniseries, and was written by Eric Burnham and illustrated by Dan Sconing. Now, before I get knee-deep in slime and review this issue, I just want to remind you this won't be the last time we see the Answer the Call girls in action, because they'll be getting their own series from IDW in October of 2017. This also won't be the final team-up we get from the IDW Ghostbusters, as Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Ghostbusters 2 is set for release in November of 2017 as a five-week event. And if you pre-order digital copies via Amazon, as I do, you'll notice that all five issues are scheduled for November 29th. As if all five issues are being released on that date digitally. I highly doubt, but at least we will definitely be getting issue number one of five on that date. It will be written by Eric Burnham, with illustrations by Dan Sconing, who have built this Ghostbusters universe in IDW. And they'll be joined this time by Tom Waltz, as well as many others. And to go along with TMNT Ghostbusters 2, Playmates has announced the release of Ninja Ghostbusters for the same month, which are action figures of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles as the Ghostbusters. Raphael will portray Winston, Leonardo will portray Ray, Donatello as Egon, and Michelangelo as Peter. And these will be the movie version of the Ghostbusters, plus IDW announced via Twitter that they will be Target exclusives. Now, on to Ghostbusters 101, number 6 of 6. Holtzman has definitely been the star of this series since she first showed up in the 2016 movie. I would really like to see her at some point get stuck in the main IDW Ghostbusters universe alongside Peter, Ray, Winston, and Egon. Maybe even go on to join one of the other Ghostbusters teams while she's stuck in the main universe. Once again, Eric Burnham nails it out of the park with his portrayal of the many different characters throughout the series. We open with multiple groups of dozens of cadets being brought together and thrown into action across the city by the Ghostbusters. Each team is led by a veteran Ghostbuster, even the answer the call girls. Each team has to neutralize the energy coming from the ley lines across New York City. How do the Ghostbusters plan on neutralizing the ley lines? They give each cadet a canister pack that's loaded to the brim with positively charged ectoplasm. That's right guys, the mood slime is back. So what do these recruits get for their effort of dousing the ley lines with slime? Well, a 10% coupon off for their next 101 experience, which only Peter could come up with and have the cojones to say. Ortiz shows up at the firehouse and sees Holtzman and Abby talking. Immediately she calls out Agent Holtzman. Which obviously means we now know that Holtzy has herself a doppelganger in this reality and she works for the FBI. At first Holtz tries to brush it off but then becomes intrigued making X-File references about her doppelganger being similar to Mulder. We receive a pretty emotional moment between Garrett, who's busy spraying slime on the ley lines, and his dad, who just recently passed away. It's a very heartfelt and emotional moment in an otherwise hilarious story. And of course, in order to close the massive hole in the sky, every Ghostbuster who has a proton pack has to do the most horrible thing anyone can think of. They have to cross the streams. The ending of the story is one that's absolutely great. A what-if scenario if you will. But I'll refrain from spoiling it for you. But I will say we get a nice little surprise cameo that relates quite hilariously to the ending of the Answer the Call Ghostbusters movie. Overall, I'd say this series ranks right up there with Mass Hysteria 1 and 2. I really enjoyed it and can't wait to see what's next for both teams of Ghostbusters. I highly recommend heading out to your local comic shop and picking up a copy. I'm Shannon for Come Again TV. And don't forget to answer the call. Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. 
hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon from Comic Again, where all geek culture collides.